We think the Phillipsburg, New Jersey general area is primed to become one of the big distribution and logistic hubs of the Northeast. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with a general interest vlog, kind of a real estate and, uh, and life vlog. As you might know, we've been talking a lot about retail businesses and what's happening in various areas like Flemington and Phillipsburg in particular and recently with some closing businesses like Best Buy and Staples and a whole lot of other businesses. But we think uh, in the near future, the trend with all these, uh, these logistics centers, it's going to be something that's going to be quite more common. They call them logistics centers, but that's just a fancy way of saying warehouse. At some point in time, they call them distribution centers. I and mean, it sounds fancy. I have to say with today's technology, it's probably pretty accurate to call them by these new names because it's not just boxes on shelves anymore. There's so much more going on behind it, especially digitally. But just so you know, a few years ago, this area here had no hubs. It was just empty or abandoned archaic businesses, you know, like uh, industrial businesses. Uh, if you go on Google Maps, you can't even see any of these warehouses. They're just, it's just empty. Uh, this is what the area looked like a short while ago. But now you see there's four big distribution centers with over, I think, approximately 2 million square feet of warehouse space. Over on this slide here, you could see that this is where this new distribution center is going. It's called the, I don't forget, some sort of Phillipsburg uh, I-78 Logistics Center. And it's going to have over half a million square feet of space. And that's uh, going to open. Here's the rendering of it. And this is going to open up sometime, I guess, in about a year from now, in the summer of 20. 21. Nobody's 100% sure who's going to fill these spaces. You know, it could be an Amazon, it could be Walmart, it could be Target. The good bet it's going to be an online business or a large established big box store. That much space, and I guess it's in a prime area there. It's like a little bit outside of, of Manhattan. It'll cover a very good area there. What we're witnessing here is like the changing of the guards. You know, this is a slow change of the guards. The old brick and mortar businesses, they're still doing okay, but I don't see them surviving much longer. 10 years, perhaps. It's just not cost effective to have all this real estate to hold merchandise for people to come buy and pick up. It's a lot easier and cheaper to keep it in a central warehouse and send it out via UPS. And you could do it a lot faster too with less overhead, you know, employees and, and insurance and all that. It's definitely certain that, you know, these businesses may stick around for a while, but there's going to be someone who's, who's smarter and, and has connections and can do this online businesses. And then they're going to undercut these stores, I guess, like Macy's and all these other places. I mean, even Amazon is selling shirts. I, I get this polo shirt for seven bucks. It were, it's, it's fantastic. It's not the best in the world, and I'm sure they're going to get better. You don't have to go to a store anymore with free shipping and free returns. And I guess one of the things that's interesting, this changing of the guard, back when I guess when Phillipsburg was, was a big retail center, they had people had a lot of people had mall jobs, whether it was kids or, or people just you know struggling to get by. They'd have these low end jobs. Those jobs are going to be replaced. These warehouse jobs. It's not. It's not as fun or exciting to see different people come inside the store and talk to people. You're just going to be sitting there like a robot putting stuff in boxes. It's not a fulfilling job. These Amazon warehouse jobs. You sit there all day and you just pack boxes. I guess it's similar to a mailman, but even a mailman gets to drive around and be outside and see people every now and then. I see my mailman every now and then. Hey, what's going on? Dude, oh, da, 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 and you get to talk to people, but if you're just filling up boxes, it's such an unfulfilling job, I have to say. You ever imagine, like, what if everything was just online in the future with delivery? I mean, some people really believe that there'll never ever be a store again, and others argue that there'll be a need for some brick and mortar stores, such as food. But even those are getting challenged online. Whole Foods, you could deliver, Instacart, you could do everything. Uh, delivery. You can even buy a car. You don't have to go to the showroom to kick the tires anymore. You can just, someone will bring a car to your house to test drive. And uh, online shopping definitely offers perks these days compared to like mail order from like 20 years ago. You get free shipping, free returns, and you even get like a million other free perks. Amazon even has this closet. They'll send you like seven 
items for nothing. And you can try them on, wear them around, and you send back what you don't want and you pay for what you keep. Or you can even send it all back. And what happens when they start delivering drones in half an hour? Oh yeah, I'm gonna order this thing, this camera or this, and it just comes in half an hour. It's right there. If you don't like it, you just send it back. Maybe it's 10 years away, but the tide is definitely turning towards the digital model of consumerism. And I don't know how much longer or which stores will survive. Heck, even the little guys selling things, you know, they, they might even buy from Ch China or dropship. They still have, have to go through Amazon and these big logistics center because the customer kind of demands like fast shipping. It's not acceptable anymore to get wait two weeks or a month to get something. But what do you think the world would be like if there were no stores, just logistics warehouse and shipping companies? I mean, you know, the whole highway would be filled with Amazon vans and tractor trailers and UPS trucks. At some point, I mean, there still will always be stores. I mean, maybe they'll be selling experiences like uh, the escape room or unique artwork that's one of a kind that you, that you don't need a massive warehouse to sell. I don't know. I guess this is how things uh, must happen in the future. You know, some uh, enterprising people figure out not only how to make things cheaper, but also to monopolize. Once they have the head start in, a, in a, like almost a trillion dollar company, I mean, it's hard to compete with that, especially if they can undercut everybody in the entire world. I don't know. What do you think it would take to reverse this trend? Is there anything possible whatsoever? Maybe it's like a life changing event, like a EMP pulse that sets humanity back 200 years. I don't know. Uh, I know there's a lot of people out there challenging this and the Luddites in the world, but when they die off and everybody's uh, uh, who's been born into technology, they're just going to accept it and we're going to all be this big matrix, I guess. I don't know. If you like this long video, please hit the bell and the subscribe. And if you have any questions or uh, you want to challenge me on anything, leave a comment or send us an email or visit our blog. We'd be much happier if you visit our blogs. We get uh, paid if you come to visit our blog. Have a nice day.